the icbi the nippon foundation mathematics package for uh, teachers title of the video major angles part one what do we mean by major angles we have uh, 0 to 360 degrees now 30 degrees we call that as a major angle 60 degrees 90 degrees 120 degrees 150 degrees 180 degrees 360 degrees right and uh, angles like 45 degrees 75 degrees 135 degrees etc if you are able to develop uh, the concept of major angles then the child will be able to use approximation to guess uh, the angles between them for example when we say 145 degrees if the child knows what is 120 degrees and what is 150 degrees and uh, an approximate uh, measurement can be identified by the child uh, to mark uh, the 145 degrees so let us see how this uh, can be developed uh, in the child let us take uh, a rectangular uh, size paper and mark that as a b c and d now first let us uh, fold the paper vertically and make it into two halves two halves and uh, make a very strong crease now we have made this uh, paper into two halves vertically and uh, let us uh, draw the midline and call that as E and F now in this sheet we get uh, two angles already one is the right angle that is 90 degrees all the four corners the four vertices they have 90 degrees now the angle on a straight line is 180 degrees so we know 90 degrees and 180 degrees now let us see how the major angles can be formed by paper folding now I would like to get 30 degrees and 60 degrees so one method is to use the measuring device to find out the angles now using the paper folding we can get accurate measurement of 30 degrees and 60 degrees so what we do let us keep the point D intact and then take the vertex C and bring it to the line EF in such a way that the vertex C is touching the line EF and at the same time at the point D we fold it in such a way that the point D is uh, giving us two angles giving us two angles now let us join this line and call that as G okay so the line DG is uh, dividing uh, the angle into two parts but not equal there is a smaller angle and there is a major angle now if you use the measuring device you can find that the major angle is definitely 60 degrees 
and the minor angle is definitely 30 degrees okay so how did we do we kept the D intact took the C and it touched the line EF so that automatically divides the angle into two parts in such a way that one part is 30 degrees and other one is 60 degrees okay so now we have uh, the angle of 30 degrees 60 degrees 90 degrees and uh, 180 degrees suppose we want to know how angle 45 degrees is formed now the angle a is 90 degrees now if we divide the angle a exactly into two parts each part will be 45 degrees so what we do take the side a b and let it coincide on the line a c and uh, if you just fold it you make the angle into two parts the angle a is made into two parts now if you measure each part will give us 45 degrees each part will give us 45 degrees uh, let us discuss the other uh, angles such as 120 degrees 150 degrees etc in the next uh, uh, video